Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and this video which is a look at the Thrustmaster Sparco handbrake and sequential shifter unit and the desktop clamp. So let's get in, let's have a look. So let's take a look at the unit itself, made up from a 90% metal construction, the final 10% being the main board and the cabling, but a 90% metal construction. This is very strong, very sturdy, very heavy, and it needs to be. Imagine your gaming session revolving around this particular unit. You're forever gonna be ripping up the handbrake, forward and backwards on the, on the sequential shifter. It's always gonna be taking a hammer in, so it's gotta be strong, and it really does feel like it is strong. You can see inside, it's a full metal construction inside. Um, brushed aluminium across the top. It really does look the part as well. It looks like something you would find in a rally car. Thrustmaster branding across the top, Sparco branding down the side. Um, you've got a button there to switch between shifter and handbrake mode. It's a real nice little unit um, that I think is going to take the hammer in you're going to be giving it throughout your gaming session. You also get the rod itself for the shifter or the handbrake, which apart from the, uh, the sort of rubber O-rings on the outside of the actual grip is a full metal construction. And you just twist it to um, work out what height you want it as well, which gives you a lot of freedom with regards to where you're gonna fit this either on your rig or on the desk, um, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but it means you can move this right up all right down as well. It's got Sparco um, lovely badge on the top there. It really does fill, and this is a one-to-one -one replica as well with all the O-rings around the side, so you're never gonna lose grip of this. Uh, it's gonna make you feel like a rally driver. So to get the unit to work as a sequential gearbox, there's three very quick, very easy steps to do. The first is to flick the switch on the side towards sequential. Secondly, there's two Allen key bolts, three mil Allen key bolts that have two position, uh, one towards sequential and one towards handbrake. Obviously move both of them towards sequential. And then obviously fit the rod um, on top as well. And now you've got a sequential gearbox that goes all the way back and all the way forwards. To put the unit into handbrake mode, the same three steps apply, except one of them is actually optional. The first one is to flick the switch on the side from sequential to handbrake. Then we go to them Allen key bolts and move both of them from, from the sequential position to the handbrake position. And then the third and optional one is to move the rod into the traditional sort of handbrake um, uh, angle that we've got now, which I'm gonna be using in. You could of course leave it on the upright sequential position um, and it would make switching between the two even easier. But this is the position I'm gonna be using them in when I fit it onto the rig and when I use it up at the desk, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, very easy to change between the two modes. So you may be interested in the shifter handbrake, but currently you haven't got a racing rig. You race with your steering wheel bolted to your desk and you think, well, this handbrake shifter isn't for me. There's nowhere to put it and there's no way I could enjoy it. Well, that's not true. Thrustmaster now produce a 100% metal desk clamp designed specifically for the handbrake. And there's also a clamp on the side as well. So you can fit the Thrustmaster um, gear changer and you can fit this next to your steering wheel on your desk as well, which I'll show you in a second. But funnily enough, I'm actually gonna use this unit, uh, this entire unit, unit with the handbrake bolted in to fit it to my rig and I'm going to show you that as well. But let's see what it looks like sitting next to a steering wheel up at a desk. So here you can see we've got the unit bolted inside the Thrustmaster desk clamp and I've got this bit down. I can't play it here because as many of you will know I've got all my equipment set up on the rig but I thought it was important to show you especially from this sort of POV angle what it would look like if you was playing at your desk and it's quite cool actually. I like the way it sort of comes around you um, almost like a cockpit and of course you can mount this either side as well and in this position you can use it as a handbrake or a shifter. Um, but a lot of people think that sim racing is only for people that have got a spare room or a rig. It's not true. You can see it from here that this would only take a couple of minutes to bolt on and you would be racing a few minutes, taking it off and you're back to your normal desk. Um, so that's what it looks like sitting up at a desk. I'm now gonna fit this up to my rig using the same Thrustmaster desk clamp. Uh, and I'm gonna show you that now. There it is all connected up to the rig, fully utilizing the desk mount. Um, and good job I've got that desktop mount because without that, I'm not sure where I personally would mount this particular handbrake. Um, all rigs are different, so you'd have to look at your own situation to see where you would mount it. The actual bracket I'm using is from GT Amiga, designed funnily enough for the Thrustmaster Warthog, uh, the throttle section. I've taken the throttle section off, enabling me to have a flat plate that I can bolt the desktop mount to as if it's like a corner of a desk. Um, it works absolutely perfect. I think it looks quite Cool, sitting on the side of the rig. Uh, most importantly, it puts the handbrake where a real handbrake would be. There's also space there for me to put a button box as well, which I've been looking for a place to put this button box. That's so absolutely perfect. Um, it's all worked out absolutely fantastic. That only leaves one thing, and that's to get out on the track. 
Right, Dirt Rally 2, we're going to try the handbrake out. I haven't had much practice in Dirt Rally 2. Funnily enough, whenever you're watching the video, it's out today. Um, and I've only just installed this, but I'm going to use the handbrake as much as I can in places where I wouldn't normally use it, just to give you an idea of what it's like. Position-wise, sitting here, it's absolutely perfect. I couldn't think of a better position. And uh, like I said, you can uh, tighten that and move that out or in. And you can even move the handbrake actually back in the in the desk mount as well. So there's a lot of movement. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go. You've got to start by holding the handbrake to let him know you're ready. Five, four, three, two, one, go. So like I say, um, I don't know how much I'm going to crash, but we'll try and use the handbrake as much as we possibly can. Don't forget this is compatible with Xbox and um, PC and PlayStation 4 as well. So it's fully compatible with your with your console. Um, perfect timing for Dirt Rally 2 or Dirt Rally 1 if you're, if you're playing in VR. I should imagine in VR this would be so immersive to have a handbrake just there. And you can see it's just I've had trouble in the past on on where to put where to put the uh, the assign the button for for handbrake. I've had it on the clutch pedal before, and it just it's just never worked out. Now we, we've got an actual handbrake, and it's just perfect. It really is. It feels nice and strong, so we we can give that a good slamming up. Nothing's 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 moving around there. Um, it's designed for you to go quite heavy with. You're not going to break this. Into fight left of a dip. As I say, I'm using the handbrake where well, I wouldn't normally use it just to show you show you in use basically. 30, fight left. It comes with a configuration tool uh, where you can sort out your dead zones and um, the analog feel of the handbrake. But it works out of the box. And flat left, 60. Flat of a jump, oh, maybe. And it's analog as well, so you've got a little bit of bite or you've got the whole thing. Uh, which makes it very, very realistic. 30, by left of a crest, into four, right Still getting used to it, right? Just, just go easy on me. It's mainly just to show you the handbrake working, really. Like I say, in areas where I wouldn't normally use the handbrake. Into two right long. But it makes the game instantly more immersive. Instantly, three really does. Into four right long, into six left, opens of a jump maybe, into flat right, 30, five left, extra long of a crest. Whoa! Flat grid and big <laughs> jump 200. I can't wait to get stuck into this game. This is really one of the first times I've played it, because um, so it's only out today. Um, but yeah, it's going to look fantastic. Handbrake out. Into three left long Titans. <laughs> It's <laughs> so much fun, and that just makes it so much more fun as well. Yeah, this is cool. I'm starting out in the Mini, always starting the Mini. The other cars are absolutely brutal in this game. Oh! That is it. I just wanted to give you an front idea. I just wanted to give you an idea of how it felt it's sitting here, how it looked. You, you you know, don't watch the gameplay. Look back at the video on how much this was moving. Obviously, don't forget this isn't designed to be sitting here. It's designed to be sitting at a desk. So I've made it. I've sort of worked it into in, into configuring it into what suits me. Um, but yes. A massive thank you to Frostmaster for sending me the desk clamp and the handbrake as well. Uh, plenty more Dirt Rally 2. And I'm going to go back to Forza as well. Now there's a bit of drifting and a bit of that. It'll be perfect. So it's going to get me back into some games that I've uh, forgotten recently as well. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments so section below. I answer all my comments. So if you've got anything, um, any opinions or anything you want to know, just ask. That is it, everyone. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you on the track.